Hey guys, what's up? It's JP here and I'm finally back with another Diablo 3 uh, video. So it's been a while since I've played Diablo and uh, as I say, I'm finally back. And since the new patch is back, that's why I actually decided to come back. And I'm going to do a new playthrough as well. So let's go ahead and create a new character. Uh, I've not played the Crusader, so this like... This would be a good chance for me to do so. Uh, let's go with a generic name here. And I'm not going to do hardcore because it wouldn't be fun watching me play hardcore campaign. <coughs> oh, I just realized I set the uh, difficulty for normal. But yeah, here we go. I'm not going to skip the videos and stuff. The fallen star is close, <coughs> but there is death here too. Right, she said. Kill some of these guys. I guess we might as well do our paragon points as well since we're here. Uh, so let's go to that. And uh, I don't think we need much. Maybe some of this. Do some movement speed here. You know what? Let's just do movement speed first. I think we're gonna do like ten percent. And we split the rest up. Uh, I don't think we need anything other than attack speed here. Personally, I've never used anything other than attack speed, so. Uh may not be the best way to do it here but that's what I'm gonna go for all rest is a must I think so this might be too easy now that I think about it but I am okay with that if somebody can teach me how to do the scrolling for this that would be much appreciated all right so I'm almost dead kind of not really but yes, I'm Greetings. I am a crusader of the Zakarum faith, and I saw a star falling on this town. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to skip those... Uh, what do you call it? Those conversations that they have there. <laughs> Actually, it's so overpowered Blessings that the light. I don't even anyone fight like that before. Uh, Guards, need to do anything gates. here. You'll find Leah at the slaughtered calf inn. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm not going to skip any of the conversations here. In fact, I'm going to talk to just about everybody I can. Again. So let's talk to this guy. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them, just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. Well, that's kind of sad here, I guess. Uh, I've never actually talked to all of these guys before, so... What faith can save us now? It is the end of the world, can't you see that? And it's nice. room will be restored, friend. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. Right, so let me just go ahead and adjust some of the settings here. Uh, right, that should be fine, I think. But we'll find out soon enough here. Yeah, let's I talk. promised Marco I'd protect him. And now he's dead. Well, that's, that's kind of sad. So let's talk to Hedrick here. Nothing ever seems to change in New Tristram, does it? What do you mean? There's always some threat of the risen dead or foul evil descending on the town, isn't there? That's nothing new here. Don't you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon. My brother died defending this town, while that bloated coward tried to run away. 
the dead rising from their graves. This must be the end of the world. So we're not going to talk to the brawler here. The dead rising uh, from their graves. Please move your cart. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. Lord Mayor, please move your cart. Are you mad? This town is doomed. Anyone with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? Fleeing will not save your life, and certainly not your town. Right. Here we go. Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. My family has been here since the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now, it's horrible. The loved ones we've buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. Tragic. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral. And their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. That's nice. Are you Leah? They tell me you survived the falling star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Watch out! The wounded are turning! Oh. That ability is, is pretty business. sweet. <laughs> killing business, huh? The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. Something like putting them back to sleep? I can do that. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Alright. Welcome to the slaughtered cafe. Yeah, we don't need any of those. I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky was no rock. A rock doesn't cause the dead to leave their graves. I don't care what any- Have you come to help us? The other adventurers who came through here didn't look so deadly. Yeah, well... There are a few people that look more deadly than, than women with maces and stuff. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Alright now. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. How could that help us? We never should have built on this cursed ground. Maybe Cain was right. Even in death, Diablo torments us. Alright, so I'm just going to do all of this as well, so that... If you've never played Diablo, you can just watch this and get the lore, sort of. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety, but I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. What do you know of Leah and Cain? Not too much, I'm afraid. They came here almost a year ago. She split her time between looking after him and helping out the town. He spent his days in the old cathedral, looking for old texts from what I hear. They were inside when that thing hit. She's lucky to be alive. Cool. I've come to help. How do we stop these risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Have faith, Captain. Have faith. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Alright, so we're gonna do this whole campaign like that, I guess. Um, it does feel a bit slow, though. There! That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in so the ruins down the road. see about it. So let's listen to I, Deckard Kane, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. 
They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. I get the feeling there's some severe overkill going on here. Uh, I think I'm not gonna explore the whole map. Um, just to save some time here. Yeah, there's definitely some severe overkill, but that's that's not too terrible, I think. We'll make up for the uh, time I spend actually talking to everyone. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to split this videos, uh, this campaign up, but uh, I'm pretty sure it has something to do like Blessings of the light. Every quest or something While like that. While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this and new Tristram before it's too late. All right. So I'm go oh, I am going to look around here. Himself was here. Uh, there is something here that I could use. And I'm pretty sure I have some items in my other stash. So we're going to go we might have to go Time back to and look at that. Skill. My wrath is low. Dear reader, I am Abdal Hazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. Not enough wrath. So I think I'm digressing a bit too much here from this objective, so... Yep, there she is. My faith is rewarded! Alright, so let's go back to the first from here. And we've got the shoe glare, which is something I don't think I've played around with, so we'll see about that. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. She's brave. With help, she may yet save Cain. All right. Leah, let us find your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Sure, let's talk to Leah here. For a long time, Uncle Deckard avoided coming back to this place. There were a lot of ghosts here for him. This is where Diablo drove old King Leoric mad and terrorized the people. I don't know what really happened here. But whatever it was, it was horrible. Nearly everyone who survived went mad. All right. So that's a bit of background history Leah, here. Leah, tell me about your mother. <laughs> well, details are hazy, but I know that Adria was obsessed with chasing the arcane. She knew she could never raise a child. Uncle Deckard believes that the madness and horror of her life finally caught up with her. And the Crusaders? I've never heard of the Crusaders. <laughs> We're from the East and only recently came to these lands. Some of us did, at least. We serve the Zakarum faith. Well, I hope you're not planning to convert these people by the sword. I'm not here to convert anyone. My crusade is to cleanse the corruption that infests my faith. When that evil is destroyed, 
Zakarum will be restored, and people can choose to believe in it or not as they please. My wife was one of them risen dead before it became fashionable. You should have seen her in the mornings. God, that that joke is like so bad. What are you doing so in bad. my room? We're gonna read your book, of course. A miracle has happened. A hero, like one out of Uncle Deckard's tales, appeared and saved us. I know in my heart that my uncle still lives, and I pray that the hero will bring him home safely. All right. So let's talk to Hedrick. It doesn't seem likely the Deckard King could have survived down in the cathedral this long, does it? Cain is alive. I will rescue him. You seem quite sure of yourself. Do you know something I don't? Probably how to fight or something. <laughs> as sad as it is for the girl, for all of us, Leah must accept that the old man is dead. No one's surviving what's out there. <laughs> and it is written, a fire will carve a furrow in the sky, and this shall be a sign unto you that the end is come. Right. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This guy's conversation sounds... You know it's not polite to go through other people's things, don't you? Surprisingly familiar to me. Alright, so let's go and save Deckard Cain, I guess. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. And your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll find it, find out about that later on. Look, a hidden cellar. There Fire. are dark secrets here. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Captain Dalton. There we go, the magical pants. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again, but like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. I can't one-shot them anymore. That's that's kind of nice, I guess. I'm not sure if this character I made was seasonal or not. Something tells me it wasn't, but... We'll see about that. So let's go down here. Uh... Nothing stops the crusade! Not entirely sure how she killed so many with one swing like that, but... Tristram Cathedral. The fallen star lies within. If I remember correctly, there's a chest somewhere up here. Eh, nah. I'm not gonna go up there just for that. So I will be using only the gear for this. Uh... The star is close. For this campaign. This will be a good battle. Ah, uh, first one I would have gotten a few of them. Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength. And I fear that the worst is yet to come. 
Have I not done? Okay, here we go. I think this is a better skill. I could be wrong though. My name is Lakdanan, and I am cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. The grotesques may seem slow and senseless, but they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes lurks beneath the monster's flesh, and foul parasites nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom. Not much of an AoE attack for the Crusader this early, I guess. I've never played this one, so alright. So let's try and get this chest. Oh, this is gonna be really hard to get here, I think. During the last days of King Leoric's reign, even the skeletons of the ancient dead could not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath. Though wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a twisted cleverness that makes them quite formidable. Not enough wrath. I might have almost messed that one up here, I think. Uh, but close. Did I get him? Got him. Perfect. So let's see here. I think two outstanding, I think. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I can toss out all these items. I have no use for them. Let's see if there's anything back here. Now is a good time to look for goblins since they have that new uh, bonus going out here. Okay, something about goblins, yeah. There's a chance that they spawn in pairs. Can get a lot of gold out of that. Yeah. There we go. Looks like I'm headed the wrong way. Uh, that's the thing about me and Diablo the game like I never ever get like I always get lost no matter how many times I've played it uh, there's probably nothing in there but let's take a look here all right now this is not the fastest way to play it. I'm not speed running here uh, this is for the casual guys who watch my channel. Uh, those who don't want to play Diablo, but want to know what happens, how the game is like. I'll gladly show you the campaign. And uh, we'll probably end this one to save De the light. Deckard Kane. Looks like he got the raw. Make your peace. Which I have no idea what that is. I haven't played Diablo in a while, so let's take a quick gander, I guess. When you block with hardened senses active, you explode with fury doing seven. What what is hardened senses? Is that a thing? Is there such a thing here? Oh a sweep attack. Yes please. I need an AoE. Um, so yeah, Hardened Senses, what's that? I guess it's one of the uh, passives which I need to unlock. Ah yes, finally an AoE. So, yeah, we can give up the 5% movement speed. Let's see if any goblins around here. Now let's go somewhere else. Maybe it's up here. Now this is going in circles here, get the shrine. 
Uh, I feel so lost. But that's how these games go, I guess. So I do apologize if it's kind of boring. Um, for you guys. Yeah, anything down there? Certainly doesn't. Oh, there's a chest there. Get some loot. Bad luck for you, friend. <laughs> That's nice. I'm only gonna pick up magical items and rare items. Oh, that's brilliant. I, I'm not too concerned about scrapping stuff. So this is it. Let's save Dakit Kane and get this over with. Foul minions! Stay back! Back! May this ledge hold! The Skeleton King? The power of the Fallen Star awakened me! And soon, all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! I love how they just completely stop attacking him when they come after me. Deckard Kane! Help! Help! Relax, nobody's attacking you. There we go. Oh, thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? Your niece asked me to find you, and I agreed. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. All right. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me. To Tristram. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I remember a chest in here somewhere. I guess it's not here. Alright, so let's go back. Got a nice little cutscene. I rescued the old scholar and learned from him that a creature called the Skeleton King stands between me and the star, but not for long. The voiceover for these characters are amazing. Alright, so that's that for this first part of the Diablo video. Uh, if you feel that each episode is too long talking to everybody and you guys are not interested in the lore, do let me know. And uh, I'm gonna disappear for a bit here. Uh, change, some out of, change some of my gear. I'm gonna get it from my other characters, like the lower level ones. And uh, yeah, that will be all for me for this video guys. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. For those of you who are still subscribed. And uh, I have another one for you soon. This is JP signing out.